We begin <laughs> this hour with a rising star who's lifting a lot of people with his music. <laughs> That's Noah Khan performing his song Stick Season, which has gotten more than 60 million, that's right, 60 million global streams since it came out in July. It's a breakup song filled with heartache, and it peaked at number one on Spotify's Viral Songs chart. Stick Season is now the title track on the singer-songwriter's new album. It was recorded and written in Vermont, where Khan lives. Jan Crawford recently visited, and she's here now with us. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, you know, Noah Khan really broke into the music scene when he was just 17 years old and he's released several hit songs since then. Now, 25, Khan is coming into himself, but it took going back home to find out who he really wants to be. Singer Noah Khan is going through a transformation and his hit song, Stick Season, is the first page of his new chapter. What's it mean to you, that song? It's about how things move forward, you know? In Vermont, fall, it's beautiful, and then the leaves fall off the trees, and it stinks, and then it's winter time, and it's pretty again. I think the song means so much more than me than just a song. I think it represents a new path for me in my career. That you made your change was your soul rediscovered. Life has changed a lot for the 25-year-old since he decided to put off college and right out of high school sign a record deal. with hits like Young Blood and Mess. Khan is no stranger to success, but with his latest album, Stick Season, he decided to take a risk, moving full force into folk music. But it feels like a fortress when the weather gets bad. I was listening to a lot of your old stuff. Yeah. And I mean, it's definitely different sound. I think I grew up listening to folk music and kind of narrative storytelling, songwriting. The songs I got signed on were definitely more pop leaning and I wanted for this newest album to try kind of paying homage to those artists I grew up listening to who were able to tell stories and I was living in Vermont during the pandemic and I started to kind of tell a story about being in Vermont. That's what I like about coming here. In a lot of ways I get to feel like a little kid. Vermont's got that freedom to it up here in New England. Khan spent some of his childhood here in rural Vermont, a place he returned to during the pandemic. He wrote Come Over, a song on his new album, Here, on top of his grandparents' table in the living room of his mom's house. It's not like a writing room in Nashville or a studio in Los Angeles. And there's like history here and there's something innately familial about writing here and I, I love that. And a song like Come Over, then that's really authentic. Yeah, it's, uh, I feel like it comes through, like your environment kind of guides what the music sounds like. His songs on Stick Season touch on themes like the difficulties of growing up, heartbreak, feeling misunderstood and isolated. Most of the songs are set in Vermont and New England. I think coming back home has kind of realigned me with who I was before instead of this person I was trying to be out, out there. So being true to yourself has enabled you to reach people in a way that you may never have been able to if you'd gone to Nashville or LA. Yeah, no, it's funny, like the place that you feel like you were moving backwards is actually the place that sent me forward. You had to go backwards to go forward in a way. I think like you have to take stock of where you come from and who you are and why that place made you who you are in order to understand yourself. And I'm I wanted it to feel like this drive. The last song on his new album, called The View Between Villages, is about the complicated feelings that wash over him when he's about to return home. I wanted the song to build in the same way that the drive builds. I feel this complete sense of peace in the first part. And, you know, there's a line like, past algebra road, I'm over the bridge. A minute from home, but I feel so far from me. Khan took us on the drive through his town that inspired the song. And here's the bridge, and it's the death of my dog, the stretch of my skin, it's all washing over me, I'm angry again. That I lost here, the I knew. 
Just these memories come back. Because once you're in this place, it's like it's taking you right back to when yeah. you were younger. And then the last line is, the car's in reverse. I'm gripping the wheel. I'm back between villages. And everything still. And the music dies down, and it kind of feels like that piece again. Why do you think your music is really resonating with people? What people have told me is that they feel left behind, they feel scared, they feel burnt out. And people have said that, you know, the biggest compliment I've received is that I've been able to articulate something that they weren't able to articulate that they felt within themselves. Do you think that your music is especially resonating with people of your generation because of social media? Because everything is, it's fake, a lot of it. Yeah. But like your music is real. Your feelings that you're expressing are raw and painful and universal. I think I forgot the things I've done. It's just good to be alive. I believe that people resonate with someone just presenting their truth in a really raw way. You were only a minute of my time. I don't miss you. Part of Khan's truth is that sometimes he struggles. He's been open about going to therapy to help deal with depression and anxiety. I've come to learn that like depression and anxiety are gonna be parts of my life forever. I do what I can to treat the symptoms, but it's still in there. And having music has been really important for me. Khan says right now he's in a good place, and he's excited that the music he feels he was always meant to make is finally out in the world. When I was growing up and I listened to a person sing about something that I was feeling, like I felt like no one in the world had ever felt that before, and hearing someone say it was the most gratifying thing in the world. My greatest goal is to do that for other people, to kind of provide that lifeline for somebody else um, is the ultimate goal of, of me as a songwriter. Forgive my northern attitude, oh, I was raised on little light. Now, the second single of Khan's new album, you heard it there at the end, is called Northern Attitude, and it's already hit more than six and a half million streams on Spotify. His tour just started, and most so shows are sold out. I think I all of them will be after hearing that pack. Oh, of yeah. Of course. And, and I love what he said. He said it's not a writing room in Nashville. This is in a studio in L.A. Um, this is home. home. And, it, you know, the, the meaning of sticks, is, it's layered, of course, but it's like he's... he's going exactly where his roots are. And remembering where you came from. Right. And then yeah. building on that to find your true self. And I think that's why his music's resonating with this generation, trying to find your place in a world that seems so uncertain. Yeah, I feel for this generation because they are really stuck in between. They're so, they have to have all the answers. Well, we're always told when we're young, go oh, chase your dreams, yeah. chase your dreams. And then you realize, you're chasing something that isn't able to be touched. This is like an, an intangible item that we can't physically touch. And then you realize you're just running. Right, right, yeah, right. So returning home is amazing. Jan, thank you for returning to the table. Yeah. Good to see you in person. Great to be here. Thank you.